So we're out here at the Leonardo and we're talking to Casey Peterson. He's the Chief Marketing Director because you have an amazing new exhibition out. It's called Alien Worlds and Androids. The stress level is high, but that's okay because we're really excited about this exhibit. Um, it, it dives into the uh, possibility of of, of answering the question, are we alone? Are we alone here in the universe? Which is really cool. Ties, this exhibit ties into um, art, science, tech, it ties into Hollywood, um, all different aspects. So why did you pick this exhibit for Utah? I think we chose this exhibit for a lot of reasons. Number one, it ties back to our namesake, Leonardo da Vinci. You know, 500 years ago, he imagined people flying through the skies and that came to fruition. He was an innovator, he was a, um, an, an engineer, a scientist. And so it's kind of fun to tie what the next 500 years of, of flight can, can actually accomplish. You know, space exploration, living on Mars, things like that. But, but really, um, you know, why we're bringing this here is because because you know, Utah was voted by Google as the geekiest state in the nation. And, and so this fits, this, this, this totally fits, this exhibit totally fits that. Okay, within this exhibit, the fascinating thing for me is there's a real correlation between science fiction and cutting edge science. Now, how does this all come together? This exhibit really bridges that gap. You know, it, it dives into the interactive pieces that people are using to now answer the question, are we alone here? You know, by using technology and robotics, technology in all different aspects, but it also kind of cuts back into the Hollywood aspect of Star Wars, Iron Man, um, the Alien movies, things like that. So it, it really kind of, this exhibit really bridges that gap between what actually is happening and then what they're showing us on the big screen. So in this exhibit, what is your favorite, let's say two things, because you kind of are a, a <laughs> geek, right? Two of my favorite things. Number one, uh, let's talk about the Hollywood aspect. I am super excited to see the Iron Man replica that we have here. Um, he's about seven seven feet tall uh, doing his pose, which is really fun. So I'm excited to see that when it's all set up and, and put together. The thing that I'm most excited about is to experience the Mars Rover simulator that we have here in this exhibit. And you get to sit in basically a simulator of the Rover and experience what the Rover does. All right, so now you guys always like to start things off with a party. <laughs> yeah, that we do. And, and speaking of that, this Friday night, we're having a really unique unique gala that we're calling the Galaxy Gala, which is really cool. Um, normally we, we have a you know certain list that we invite and that kind of stuff. It's a black tie event, but not this one. This one, because we're the geekiest state in, uh, in, in, the, in the nation stuff, this, this gala we want to have is a costume cosplay party. You know, people, people around here spend so much time and money building their costumes and designing their own costumes, and we want them to come down and show it off and have a party at the same time. Okay, so the whole exhibition here is really talking about whether or not there's life somewhere else in the galaxy. Right. And so after seeing all of the bits of this exhibition, what's your personal opinion? Yeah, uh, you know, I think after seeing this exhibit and seeing all of the, the cutting edge technology and the science that, that uh, you know, NASA and things like that are using to, to, to answer that question, are we alone? You know, I'm definitely now on the side of the fence that thinks that there is something else out there besides us. Casey, thank you so much. We're so excited to see the exhibition with everything all together, but I have to admit, the behind the scenes is pretty cool.